Well, we're to the video question segment, which I love, Brian, because this is a real problem. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I got a question for you. Take a listen to this. It's been doing that for a while, but they told me to replace the engine, but it's hard to do that going through college. What else can I check? Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. It's not looking good, not sounding good, buddy. No, I'm not digging that one. <laughs> Heavy knocks, not good. But anyway, let's talk about bearings. Brian, I got a couple bearings right here on the table. Yeah, now here's a main bearing. So this is where at the bottom of the piston and connecting rod marries up to the crankshaft. Here's an extremely worn bearing that absolutely could be making that sound. Absolutely, and this is actually what it's supposed to look like. This is actually a brand new bearing. And you also have a thrust bearing that controls the crankshaft back and forth movement. Yep. You know, we'll talk about diagnosing it, but let's take let's a look at the bearing. Them. Yeah, it's right here in the engine. It's pretty simple We're to check pull out. Pull a main cap here, Kyle. <laughs> Awesome. And this bearing, so you can get a look at it firsthand. Do that. I'll pump it up here. I should be able to knock it loose. There, there we go. All right. Wow. Real good catch. All right, so there it is. There's where the bearing rides. Rides here, and there's also a second half under the crankshaft. Right under there's a second half. Now, this pin can come loose, and they could spin in there, or it could be so worn like ours, Brian. It's got to get oil. It's got to shed heat and get the lubricity that it needs. If that fails, that absolutely could cause the knocking sound that you're hearing. Yep, and you also have a main bearing, one back here, which is a thrust bearing. That's gonna control the back and forth movement of the crankshaft, and you know, you push the clutch in or you put it in gear, that changes. That'll load now it up. Now there's also rod bearings. This is great because the rod bearings actually come down with the fire. When it comes down with the fire, it's hitting that crankshaft. So if we take the fire away, it's gonna lessen that noise. And we got a great video that illustrates that. He's gonna go from number one, you're gonna hear a little change, to number two, there's really, a big change, that's gonna tell us the difference. Kyle, watch that close. Video. This is something you can do in your driveway with the right tools. So here he goes, now he's going to number one. Listen up. And you can hear that change, but not very loud. Just a little bit, but it changed. But watch this, this is the coolest. Oh wow, hear that? Now he's gonna go back and forth, listen. Watch when he goes back. Bam, there There's it is. There's your problem piston right there. That's exactly what it is. It's yep. a connecting rod, it's coming down, it's smanking on that crankshaft, bam, bam, as it smacks, it makes that noise. Yeah. Now also remember, bearing noises, upper ends are half speed because yep. the camshaft turns half crankshaft speed and the lower ones are not. So a couple ways you can do it, take a stethoscope. Yep. I love these. Yeah. Isolate up or down, plus I look like a doctor. That at least cool. gets you in the neighborhood, absolutely. Yep. But that's a great check that anybody can do. Kyle, as for you and your truck through college, well, Drive it till it drops, buddy. Yep. <laughs> well, our uh, phasers went good today. Yeah, the variable valve timing solenoid ended up being a fun project. Scary codes at the beginning. You know, it's something, it's new technology, but I'm so glad we don't have to advance timing with vacuum or set points like the old school I'll way. I'll tell you what, we're getting better performance in everything. Hey, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. For now, we're out of time. So join us next week right back here at the newly revamped Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com.